welcome you guys. Come on in, see our shop. Uh, this is where, let me close the door up here. Uh, this is where we're teaching class this year, the class of 2012. This is our 200 year old barn that we've restored. And uh, lots of good stuff going on. We're building a big cupola inside and uh, we're setting up to teach our class this year, the class of 2012. So come on in. So we're over at, uh, we're over at the barn here in Wallingford, Wallingford, Connecticut, uh, talking about the cupola that we're building for this barn. Uh, this, will, this is part of our class this year, the class of 2012. We'll be putting this up on this barn, which is our classroom. Our classroom is inside of this building. Um, so the last time you guys saw this cupola, it was in my shop, and it was still in the process of being framed out. Uh, it's, it's actually in its finished state now. We have red cedar clapboards, clear white pine corner trim, and as you can see, the top rim is totally encased in lead. So the lead actually comes uh, almost completely over the top plate here, and we also put lead at the bottom where it intersects the roof. So the day that the crane picks it up and we set it down, this is all flashed and ready to go. It's had three coats of paint and it'll get a total of five coats of paint uh, before raising day, before it goes up. So the inside doesn't look much different than it did uh, back in my shop. Um, we've got a couple of come-alongs that we uh, put up on the ceiling here. And uh, we dragged it over with a, we actually pulled it over with a John Deere tractor, which was uh, kind of an interesting experience because my shop's about two miles from here. And the last thing I wanted was this uh, diamond shaped base to fall off in the road. But uh, everything kind of went okay. A little shaky at times. I think it was the longest ride I've had from my shop to this project over here in uh, three years. And we just, uh, we put a couple of come alongs up on the ceiling here. And that's what we used to lift it off of uh, the forks on the tractor when we got over. So our expected finish date on this is May. I hope to put the cupola together and put the cupola back up or put the cupola up uh, at a workshop, at a timber frame workshop that we'll have here at the classroom uh, in the middle of May. And remember, you guys, it's a three component cupola. This is component one. This is the tapered base. If you remember, it has a 20 degrees pitch. Um, it's four feet. It's four feet at the longest side where it intersects the roof. And component two is the main body, which we're going to head up into the classroom, and we'll show you that in just a few minutes. Okay, you guys, so we're over at the classroom where we'll teach this year's class, the North for Timber Frame class of 2012. And I wanted to show off um, what we have been talking about. So this is component number two. So this is the main body of the cupola that we're building for this barn. And if you remember the video we already have up on YouTube is when we were constructing the base, which we turned 45 degrees from the traditional way that you would usually do it. And uh, so I wanted to give you an idea of the size of the, of the main body or component two. It's actually five foot eight inches tall. This here is the base of the steeple roof. So these are two by 16 planks. So these planks are two by 16 inch white pine and we clamped and glued them together. This becomes the base of the church steeple. Okay, so I'll actually match mark this. So I'll give it a direction, north, south, east, west, and then we'll through bolt it. We'll actually put half inch through bolts uh, through the plates through the base of the church steeple and through the top plate of the main body. We'll probably put as many as 16, 16 half inch through bolts so that component two and component three, component three being the steeple, they get bolted together, actually through bolted together. So when the crane picks this whole thing up or any hurricanes or fall weather that this cupola may see, hopefully in the next hundred years, it doesn't blow off the roof. Um, you can see the proportions on this. It, it's pretty large, you guys. I mean, uh, so it's, it's 75 inches, which is 6 foot 3 square. Now remember, this gets turned, and it goes on that diamond-shaped base. So all along, 
I have believed that this is going to look very dramatic. Uh, the way this barn sits up on a hill and back from the road, when people approach this barn, I have no doubt in my mind that this cupola is going to make this t restored 200-year-old timber frame a landmark. Um, I think it would be a landmark without the cupola, but I certainly think with the cupola, it's going to be quite an upgrade. Um, now, I'll talk a little bit about uh, the church steeple, which is the third component and the last piece that we still have to figure out. Well, the ceiling where I'm standing here, uh, this area of the barn, which is where our classroom is, the ceiling here is around 13 feet. So I'm going to build the church steeple in this area here. And unfortunately, I wanted to make it 16 feet, but I don't have any place to build it. And I don't want to work outside because um, it takes too long to get one of these done. And I don't want it getting wet. So I'm actually going to build as tall as I can build it in here and still be able to get it out the door. So anyway, thanks for stopping back in and checking us out today. Uh, I wanted you guys to see the base downstairs with, it, with its paint on it, the tapered base. And I wanted you guys to have an idea of the main body and what went into constructing this. And I also want you guys to know that if you take our class this year, you're actually going to be a part. You actually will have a hand in putting this cupola up on the barn. So the class of 2012 will come back to this barn uh, the third week in May, which is only a couple of months away, and you guys will actually assist us. We'll have sort of a little celebration party, and we'll get this cupola up on the barn. Thanks very much for visiting us today, you guys. Have a good day.